good morning students today we will do another passage under the remaining work of english grammar and today we shall study lesson 36 topic of the passage is the two brothers so basically the passage is about two brothers how they uh, went to a forest what happened to them there and how their lives completely changed that we will study in this passage so let's get started two brothers set out on a journey together at noon they lay down in a forest to rest when they woke up they saw a stone lying next to them there was something written on the stone and they tried to make out what it was so here the meaning of set out is start so two brothers started a journey together and when they went to a forest they were lying uh, uh, down uh, and when they woke up after the sleep they saw a stone and the stone was lying next to them only and something was written on the stone and they tried to make out make out means they were searching that what it was written on the stone let whoever find this stone they read go straight into the forest at sunrise in the forest a river will appear it was written on the stone that the person who is reading uh, must have to go straight into the forest at the time of sunrise means in the morning in the forest a river will, will appear there let him swim across the river to the other side that person has to swim across the river and has to go to the other side of the uh, forest there he will find a she bear and her cubs let him take the cubs from her and run up to the mountain with them without once looking back on the top of the mountain he will see a house and in that house he will find happiness so that person has to swim across the river and then he uh, will see the cubs of the she bear and that person has to take the cubs with him and that person has to run up to the mountain without looking back and when that person will reach to the mountain he will see a house and in that house that person will find the happiness when they had read what was written on the stone the younger brother said let us go together we can swim across the river carry off the bear cubs then take them sorry take them to the house on the mountain and together find happiness so when they both the two brothers the two brothers sorry have read that inscription the younger brother said that let us go together and do all the things because together we can swim across the river together we can take the she uh, uh, bears uh, cubs and then we can go to the mountain and we can together find happiness I am not going into the forest after bear cubs said the elder brother and I advise you not to go either so the elder brother said that he uh, did not want to go and he advised to his younger brother that you should also not go there in the first place no one knows whether what is written on the stone is the truth perhaps it is a joke it is even possible that we have not read it correctly the young uh, the elder brother said that maybe it has happened that whatever is written on the stone uh, may be a joke and it can also be possible that we have not read it correctly and the second thing was that uh, even if what is written here is the truth and they were not sure that whatever was written on the stone was truth or not suppose we go into the forest and night comes and we cannot find the uh, river we shall be lost and if we do find the river how are we going to swim across it the elder brother was giving the facts that uh, telling the facts to his younger brother that suppose if we will go to the forest and a uh, night comes at the sunshine because they have to go to the forest and if we cannot find the river and we shall be lost they can be lost in the forest and the second thing was that if they find a river and it is uh, you know not confirmed that they can swim across the river it may be broad and swift in the third place even if we swim across the river do you think it is an easy task to take her cubs away from the she bear and the elder brother was continued saying that if we will find the river then it will not be easy to swim across the river maybe the river will be so broad and swift and the third thing was that if they can swim across the river and uh, the elder brother was saying that it would not be easy to take the cubs of the she bear she will seize us and instead of finding happiness we uh, shall perish and all for nothing and he has given the facts that if the she bear has saw them so obviously um, she will eat 
the two brothers and they will get nothing in the fourth place even if we succeeded in carrying off the bear cubs we could not run up a mountain without stopping to rest and most importantly the stone does not tell us what kind of happiness we should find in that house it may be that the happiness awaiting us there is not at all the sort of happiness we would want and the uh, next thing was that <clears throat> if they would be able to you know take the she bear scouts then also they would not be able to run to the uh, mountain without stopping without resting and the most important thing that the elder brother told it was that ki maybe the happiness which they will get from uh, doing all these things was not that kind of a happiness which they want in my opinion said the younger brother you are wrong what is written on the stone could not have been put they are without reason the younger brother said that my opinion is that if something is written on the stone that means it there will be a reason for that and it all perfectly clear in the first place no harm will come to us if we try he said that if we will try that we can be succeeded in the second place if we do not go someone else will read the inscription on the stone and find happiness and we shall have lost it all second thing the younger brother said that if we will not go we will not follow the instruction uh, instructions um, any other person would come and that person will read and that person would do the same and that person can find the happiness and they too will lost their happiness in the third place if you do not make an effort and try hard you will never be successful at anything in the fourth place i do not want it to seem that i was afraid of anything the younger brother said that if we will not take risk then we cannot do anything for doing something we have to do some efforts and the next thing which he told it was that he did not want uh, to be coward he want uh, you know he want to be brave so that's why he said that he would go the elder brother answered him by saying the proverb says in seeking great happiness small pleasures may be lost and also a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush the elder brother uh, given examples through proverbs and he said that when we you know uh, when we find great happiness then we lost the small pleasure of life and if we are having you know um, one thing in our hand it it will be better than two things for which we are trying the younger brother replied i have heard he who is afraid of the leaves must not go into the forest and also beneath a stone no water flows so another a uh, proverbs are given here the younger brother replied that the one who is afraid uh, of the leaves must not go to the forest that means the person who will be afraid cannot do anything in his life because beneath a stone no water flows the younger brother set off and the elder brother remain remained behind set off means started the journey the younger brother started the journey to the forest and the elder brother remained behind because he did not want to go there at that time No sooner had the younger brother gone into the forest than he found the river swam across it and then on the other side was the she bear fast asleep he took her cubs and ran up the mountain without looking back once when he reached the top of the mountain the people came out to meet him with a carriage to take him into the city where they made him their king so the younger brother had done the same he had gone to the forest he had swam across the river he uh, found the you know uh, the cubs of the she bear and then he took up to the mountain the cubs and when he reached to the mountain the people came to meet him with a carriage and they took him to the city and made him their king he ruled for 5 years in the 6th year another king who was stronger than him waged war against him the city was conquered and he was driven out so for 5 years the younger brother has ruled and when the another king came who was stronger than him and that time he has to leave the city because the other person has conquered the city again the younger brother became a wanderer and he arrived one day at the house of the elder brother the elder brother was living in a village and had grown neither rich nor poor so when the younger brother was you know driven out from the city he became a wanderer at that time and one day he arrived at the door of the elder brother and when he saw him the elder brother was living in the village and he was neither poor neither rich 
The two brothers rejoiced at seeing each other and at once began thinking about all that happened to had happened to them. And when the two brothers met, they were very happy. They were started thinking what had happened to them. You see, said the elder brother, I was right here. I have lived quietly and well while you, though you may have been a king, have seen a great deal of trouble. The elder brother said that I was right. I have lived here in the village with happiness. Maybe you have been a king but you have seen a great deal of trouble that means you have faced a lot of difficulties i do not forget i do not regret having gone into the forest and up the mountain replied the younger brother i may have nothing now but i shall always have something to remember while you have no memories at all the younger brother said that i have no regret i have done that thing i have gone to the forest i have gone to the mountain and he said that now at that time i may not have anything but i shall have the memories with me which i will cherish throughout my life and that's about the passage the two brothers how the thinking was different while one wants to remain uh, safe and the other wants to have memories want to show courage thank you everyone i hope everything is clear now let's see the book filling of this passage first of all you all have to put today's date in your copies and books and then you have to mention online classwork First one is given, write the meanings of these words and phrases you may refer to your dictionary. We have to tell the meaning of the given words or phrases. So the first one is set out, it means start on a journey. Second one is rejoiced, that means celebrated. Third one regret, that means lament. Fourth one is proverb, that means wise saying. Fifth one is seize, that means capture. Sixth one is waged, that means fought. Now let's see exercise D that is join the pairs of sentences as instructed. First one is given it was the truth she was innocent and we have to join these sentences using that. So it will be that she was innocent was the truth. Second one is the baby saw its lost rattle it started crawling towards it. We have to begin the sentence with seeing the lost rattle. So it will be seeing the lost rattle the baby started crawling towards it. Now let's see the next one. It is written, Sanib did not go for the party. Sarthak did not go for the party. And we have to join these sentences using neither nor. So it will be neither Sanib nor Sarthak went to the party. Next one is given here. He finished his prayers. He began to doze off. And we have to start the sentence uh, using having finished. That is participle. So it will be having finished his prayers. He began to doze off. Next one is, I bought the pair of sneakers. I had seen it at the store. We have to join these sentences using that. I bought the pairs of sneakers that I had seen at the store. So these exercises you have to fill in your books. Thank you everyone.